You want to smell my finger? No, stop. No. No, Mr. Clark, when are we going to start filming? We're recording right now. What are you doing? Five, four, three, two. Good morning, CHS, and welcome back to The Post. I'm your host, <coughs> Molly McKenzie. And I'm Ryan Graziano. We have a great episode in store for you. Right, Ryan? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Nice. Sorry. Okay, as I was saying, we have a great episode in store for you with lots of segments that we've been working so hard on. Uh, this week, we have a couple segments, including me and Colin's uh, very own question of the week. Uh, Okay. Um, I guess we'll just wait. Let me get edited out. Guys, yeah, the, the huh? phone rang. You have to go to the main office. It's for you guys. Right now? Yeah, I, I'm just gonna have to like edit it or something. I don't know. Um, here, you gotta take my. You guys have to go to the main office. Oh, sorry, just, yeah. yeah, grab your phone. Okay. Um, switch here. Just like just uh, play the segment. All right, now don't go getting all prank happy. No, no, we won't. <laughs> All right, so um, Ryan and Molly got called down to the main office, so me and Cullen are uh, gonna fill in for them until they get back. Um, what did you think about those um, pranks? To be honest, I thought they were mid at best, and I wasn't really a big fan of them. Cullen, that's not nice. You can't say that. I know. I mean, they, I, they were good. I thought they were very good. That was Cullen. a very good segment. I gotta go to the bathroom. It's really bad. Day. I'll see you later. I really do. Cullen, I'll see you. All right, um, you could just roll the next segment. <laughs> Who replaced Mr. Henderson with a middle schooler? Um, I don't know what middle schooler has a full beard, but um, I will take the compliment because uh, that just means that I radiate youth, so whatever. Why is Ryan Graziano always hosting? Because I'm the best looking kid on the pulse. Someone tell these kids they aren't celebrities. I mean, I don't know who you are, so write your name on this next time and we'll come after. The way the host camera is the fanciest camera, but the footage still looks like it was filmed on a smart refrigerator that no one has cleaned in years. Smiley face. It's not a really smiley face, is it? Um, I mean... Which Graziano is actually on the pulse? Me. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of reaction is that? <laughs> is that a roast? No. <laughs> It's hard to keep track of everyone's names. You all should write it on your forehead or wear big signs with your names on it or some... What? Buddy, <laughs> we usually have our name tags at the bottom, so you probably should look around the video on the screen before you make these comments. Some people are actually genuinely confused. Oh. But I'm saying, yeah, like, you have the names before every video. Exactly. <laughs> Mr. Clark Minion Fate. <laughs> 
I don't know if this means because I like yellow and I wear yellow or actually because I dressed up as a minion for Halloween with the L-Wing teachers. Um, but I do, yellow is my favorite color. So if that makes me a minion permanently, so be it. Showed my family Billy on the street. They called Ryan Graziano a clown. Uh, all right, well, I, I, I can't curse, so, but like, you know, like, whatever. Cullen eating lunch on the literal ground. Nasty. I wouldn't say it's nasty, but definitely an interesting choice because after lab, sometimes it comes down to that. Oh, having that many shares on the Pulse Plus is not a compliment. Well, the fact that you know that means that you're there on Pulse Plus on TikTok and you're watching too, so haters always watch still, right? You guys want to keep looking at me and you can save me your camera roll, so, I mean, I'll take that as a compliment. I'm concerned that the Pulse is becoming too entertaining. Do more boring segments. The kids in TV need to be humbled. I mean, that's just like, that makes no sense. Why would you want us to do boring segments if that's boring, like humbled? I don't know who's pompous in this class except maybe Patrick Shelfo. Post kids really think uh, they're the main character. Well, I'll have you know that I am the main character. I am the most important person and everyone else is just kind of there. Except Ryan Graziano, the star of the Pulse. We are though. That's why we're on the post and you're not. Someone needs to tell you to get a job and stop uh, leaving these hateful and frankly stupid comments on our Google form. We know where you- The Clark has so much screen time. Well, I do have a background in acting, uh, so it just happens naturally. And honestly, more often than not, kids ask me to be in their segments, so. Who is the Pulse, uh, Ryan Graziano? <laughs> Season 10 was better. Yes, bring back the Zoom interviews. We miss those so much. Well, thank you for submitting those criticisms. We'll try to take them into account. Now I know what you're probably thinking. Why am I a baby? Well, it all starts with a story where I how I met a wizard. Uh, Tess, no, stop, don't, don't you throw it. Ow. Tess, did you just throw Guinevere? How could you do this to our family, to our child? What is this? Like, Mariana, what? I have something to tell you. Shift just started. Um, it's five ten right now, and usually we have one to two orders as soon as we get here. So it's somewhat busy, but today is a weekday, so we won't get our first order until one hour after. So I'm just gonna be sitting around playing games on my phone and waiting until I get an order. So see you then. Welcome back. My name is Tess Healy. 
Now I'm hungry for some Blossom, to be honest. Next up, we have Ryan and Cullen's super cool question of the week. Let's take a gander at that one. Riley. Riley what? Uh, Burn. Are you sure that's your last name? Yeah. What are your thoughts that Mr. Tomato used to be part of the Rolling Stones? That's just not true. Are you sure about that? Positive. 100% uh, yeah, positive. Another question. Uh, what, do you, like, what are your initial thoughts knowing that Mi Officer Mode can bench 600 pounds? I don't think that's possible either. I'm saying 225 max. That's kind of disrespectful. Okay. Uh, Officer Moat can actually bench press 600 pounds. Excuse me? Officer Moat can yeah. bench press 600 pounds. Oh, I could do better than that. Oh, for real? Yeah. <laughs> what, you don't think I can? No, I believe you. All right, good. Yeah. All right, hey, thanks. Do you know who Officer Moat is? Officer. Yeah, yeah. So he, how do you feel that he can actually bench 600 pounds? Damn. Damn. Yeah. I know, right? All right. How do you feel the gym class? Someone thought gym was a person. How do you feel the gym class is no longer a requirement next year? I. That sounds pretty good to me. You gonna take it? Uh. It depends what my parents are gonna say. <laughs> but I mean, probably not. Probably not. Do you know who Mr. Anderson is? Uh, yeah, of course. He's wearing armor next year. He's wearing armor next year? Yeah, like a chest plate. Wow. I'd love to see that. All right, thank you for your time. Yeah. How do you feel about Coach Irv becoming an FBI agent next year? Didn't know that. Yeah, well, you know, he's really spreading his wings. All right, but quick question, quick question, quick question. Yeah, sure. No, wait, it's Phil Murphy. No, it's not. Okay. Where's Matt? Alright, ready? How do you feel that how do you feel that Mr. Groves is retiring next year at the age of 35? I think that's a little young. I wish he would stay around. He's a great principal. Uh I agree. 35 is young. LeBron, for example, he's still no going. Way he's 35. Yes, he is. How do you feel that Mr. Groves is retiring at the age of 35 next year? Too young. Uh, how do you feel the gym is no, no longer in the requirement for senior year next year? I think it's good because we have uh, another study hall. All right, I'm here with Mr. Tram. There it is. How do you feel that every student next year has to take dance class? Full year, of course. I guess I'm leaving the school. Yo, right. Can you please be quiet? I'm here with Luke. Okay. Taylor. Yeah, okay. Well, how do you feel that Mr. Tomato is becoming a full time sports broadcaster next year for the New York Giants? Awesome. Wait, uh, is that is that true? Yeah. Uh, good for him. Congrats, Mr. Tremaine. That was a joke, by the way. God. <coughs> Jeez, Tom, are you okay? Yeah, it's just it's my throat a little bit. Yeah, you kind of sound like Colin. Colin Decker? Yeah. Speaking of Colin, he's actually here to do his weather report. Oh my god, I actually really want to see that. Let's watch it. You guys appreciate it here. Back to the uh, seven day forecast we have here. Looking at negative 16 degrees on Wednesday, which is really good beach weather. Get out there, t shirt and shorts. It should definitely be a really good time. Um, you might be a little bit cold, so t shirt works with maybe some mittens and some uh, maybe a hat or something, but other than that, you could still be out there in uh, shorts and t shirt. Uh, coming into Friday morning, we could see this Canadian uh, freezing cold front coming down up here. Coming down into New Jersey, which is where we are technically technically right now. So it's definitely going to be freezing. As we can see, negative 30 degrees, which is pretty unfathomable. But it'll be okay. If you, if you need to go outside, definitely be careful and make sure to put on a bunch of layers of shorts. Another description of the freezing temperatures we got here below zero, which is something we haven't seen in a few years here. But we'll definitely be okay. That's a look at your seven day forecast. Be sure to enjoy the beach this weekend and wear your sunscreen. Back to the studio. Thanks for that wonderful weather report, Cullen. And now, a video from our archives. That's right, we're heading back to the 90s, a time where low rise jeans were still in style and tiny sunglasses were all the rage. Party on party people that you get the noise, these things in the house, don't tell for Georgia, there's a party over here, a party over there, where you can't do it, yeah, 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 y
I love birds so much. Me too. Here's the next thing when we... I really don't know what's taking Ryan and Molly so long in the office, but um, I hope they're okay. In the meantime, um, you're back with us again. Um, so, you know, I hope that uh, they're able to, you know, oh, well, they're, I don't know what they're going to do now, but um, hopefully they're going to, Okay. Oh, they just texted me, actually. They just texted you? Yeah. What did they say? Watch out what Mr. Clark's doing right now. I hope you guys have a fun day. Be safe. Watch out for those pranksters. And we will see you next week with a brand new episode the day before spring break. Bye.